Hey, this is Pat again. I've got another cool little uh, van project to show you. Something I put together uh, last summer and hadn't had a chance to post yet. Uh, so I started out wanting to improve the reverse lighting on the van and uh, realized that the solutions that are out there weren't very good. And then I found some cool LED high powered lights that I could install. I also then sort of thought it would be cool to add some lighting for when you're searching for campsites and you're driving along you want to light up the side of the road and what I wound up with was uh, four perimeter lights uh, mounted on the roof rack of my van and they are canned at about 45 degrees and you wind up with a uh, full coverage of the entire uh, uh, perimeter around the van so uh, let's go take a look at one of the lights right now all right so here's one of the lights it is a uh, 30 watt LED light I got off of Amazon it's one of these made in China uh, LED lamps. Uh, you see there's a big old heat sink in the back there to keep the LED cool. One of the nice features of that is you can actually grab it and spin it around if it's loosened up. I use some Yakima plastic clips in order to uh, mount it and it allows me to put stuff on top of it and still not uh, cause any problems. Uh, mounting solution is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, the wires for it then go underneath the, uh, the camper top and get run along the inside and then come into the back. So the lights are controlled by a custom intelligent four channel solid state relay. Uh, it's custom built and so you can't find it on the market yet. Um, basically in the back of the van nicely tucked away is the relay and power distribution. That's where all the lights actually come together and get all their power uh, where the power is supplied. Uh, and then up front here you can see the uh, prototype of the switch panel and uh, so this is just using low voltage wire to uh, control the relays in the back and so we've got front left, front right, back left, back right uh, and so in addition to that uh, each of the channels, each of the four channels uh, has overcurrent protection uh, it's customizable this one's set to 10 amps uh, make sure that if there's any big faults with one of the lamps that it will trip. Uh, additionally, there's under voltage protection that trips off at 11.8 volts and resumes back at 12.3. That way you don't run down your battery uh, too bad using these lights. Uh, but since they're LEDs though, they're definitely much more efficient than, uh, than conventional lighting. And then uh, finally, a slick little feature I've got uh, programmed in there is that if you go ahead and put it in reverse, you'll see that the uh, the two reverse lights come right on automatically and uh, as soon as you go ahead and take it out off they go again uh, so basically I've got really slick very high powered uh, reverse lights uh, fully controlled uh, automatically with this switch panel and so to uh, wrap up I'm really psyched about this uh, lighting system uh, it's very high powered it lights up uh, the entire uh, remote parking lots out in you know, the middle of Teton National Park. We've done that to scare away some bears and some moose when we were up there. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty slick the way it just automatically engages when then you go ahead and throw it in reverse. You can turn on one light, uh, turn on all four when you're in camp. Uh, the under voltage, make sure that you don't run down the battery. Uh, right now it's just a prototype stage, but uh, it's possible we might end up uh, uh, developing it a little bit more and uh, bringing something to market. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.